I just got um, a bunch of storage equipment for a giant cabinet that I've had and I have organized a ton of my products. I'm so excited to A, just have it because I get excited about organizing things. And um, two, it's just gonna make my life so much easier. So I wanted to show you how I'm storing some of my like manipulatives and stuff like that. All right, I have an enormous cabinet that I'm very excited to have. Um, and I have this sort of on the outside of the cabinet. And now when you open it, I got all these little hangers. I'm just trying to decide what I'm gonna fill them with. But even more importantly, and it still has tons of work, but I got this container, which is basically like a photo organizing box. And of course, I'm not using it for photos. I've labeled all of my things. I really actually want like a little label maker, like the new ones that I've seen, the thermal ones where you don't even need ink. Um, but I have them labeled and then all my things on the inside ready to go. Like different compositions and autumn runs and re a recorder. I have who has. This is a book. I have an activity with listen, treble clap, music symbol, headbands, all good stuff like that. And here I got these pouches and they came in a ton of different size, sizes. This I have lots of different animals. This is for an, um, working on A and C on recorder. So I have these cards. I use sticky magnets on the back. I have two versions included with the recorder packet. So you can see one has the notes and the rhythms written on it. And the other one is just the images. It's an A and C zoo. You can tell this is a very untraditional zoo, uh, non-traditional, but anyway, there you go. Works so well. And you can see there's like different sizes. So these are my kabooms. This is my So Me La kaboom, my treble clef kaboom, my rhythm kabooms. And inside I actually have them in Ziploc so they're divided for each. So they're divided by small groups. So this is like a completed set. So inside I can just say, okay, here's this for that group. Um, if I'm not just doing like one rotation with a center and if it's the whole class playing. And I have lots and lots of them. Anyhow, I always like to see what other people are doing in their classroom and how they store things um, and just sort of windows into what other colleagues are doing. So there you go, inside my cabinet, my new organization.